There is a good possibility that the er eruption at the Sundunka craters will be over by the weekend. It has already reduced to one vent, and you can see that there is some uh, strombolian style eruption to the center, as you can see, that jet of material coming out. Quite uh, interesting and beautiful. Uh, maybe has some more water than the other place, and you can see that it erupts really well from a tiny hole is coming out and oozing out. It had a very uh, beautiful, large uh, beginning. The pressure was built up behind it. Then gradually pressure relieved, and now we see that it's just limited. At the moment, uh, is only one vent erupting. And it is quite possible that by the weekend, this will be over. The risk assessment, however, says that it may erupt. New cracks may appear in the Grindavik area to the south also and the north of the Sundonka craters. We have already uh, have a model which shows that where is the next movement of the lava. It may, uh, and also the volume of it compared to the uh, um, previously in the Little Corto and the Fagadesvio and Meradalil and Gellingadalar. As you can see, four square kilometers of uh, ground is covered, 280,000 uh, cubic meters of lava. As you can see, this beautiful map latest shows that compared to the figure desk, it's quite huge uh, area it has covered, relatively more flat, and it has, it has been able to actually travel fast. And that's the reason it has covered the uh, area almost equal to figure desk in that sense. Figure desk had to go over a lot of hills and uh, other places. So, Let's see what happens. It may erupt from other places also. And anyway, such eruptions usually last uh, several years, up to a decade. So this is not over. Maybe for the Sondonka it will be over by the weekend, but it opens again somewhere else.